GD Script programming language is now feature complete for the Godot 4.0 update. One of the highlights is the introduction of typed arrays. You can now set the element type and let it be validated by the engine. This allows you to do safe operations with homogeneous arrays and also allow the language to optimize a few more code paths. Another highlight is the introduction of lambda functions, otherwise known as function literals. These are inline functions that are assigned directly to an expression instead of being defined in the class. You use them using the call method, as lambdas are of type callable. You can optionally name the lambda functions, which you can see in the stack trace while debugging. And you can also pass variables from the scope the lambdas are defined in. Further optimizations have been made, including reducing the number of addressing modes and using a special stack space for typed temporaries. The focus now will be shifted to bug fixes in preparation for the 4.0 alpha. With GDScript being feature complete for the 4.0 update, the lead developer of Godot polled the community on what language they would use for a game that required significant performance on game logic. As you can see, it's pretty close. Some people would use GDScript for most things and then use C++ for performance critical parts. Others would just use C Sharp for everything. And others just want to use GDScript. They want the developers to make GDScript faster. What do you guys think? Which language would you prefer to use in a performance critical script? Submissions are now open for the Godot 2021 showreel. Unlike previous years, where they were completely overwhelmed by the amount of entries, they now have a Godot showreel app to handle categorization and sorting of the entries. If you are interested in submitting your project, create an account and log into the app. Submissions closed on July 1st. Introducing the GOTM Publishing Program. This program gives developers a way to get their games published on GOTM.io as a premium game and on the Nintendo Switch. GOTM will help create promotional materials such as trailers and help promote the game through paid marketing. They are looking for high quality, polished, fun games with at least two hours of playtime. This Godet model was created by Pablo Dobaro in Blender. You can download the model for free from the Blender Cloud. Heike is the brutal precision platformer where decapitation is just the beginning. Dive headfirst into four worlds of color switching, laser dodging, lightning fast action. Heike is the platformer where you don't need a body to get ahead. Base Ship is a rhythm game made with the Godot engine. Space Bandit is a roguelite top-down shooter with crazy firefights and clever AI. In Mergefire, play as a blob, merge with other blobs to grow, and skip over huge cliffs or walls, or separate yourself to go through small pathways. Black Pellet is an open-world action-adventure video game with a claymation style to it. In a post-apocalyptic era, you'll witness the story of a man and his dog companion as they wander across a dead land where legends will be born. That's all for you this week. Like the video, leave a comment for the algorithm. Thanks for watching.